fighting with every single blade and sorcery weapon. That's right, an epic rampage with all 29 weapons. Let's do this. Part 1. The Common Dagger A favorite of rogues, the sharp tip of the dagger makes it primarily a stabbing and thrusting weapon. Okay, stabbing and thrusting. Stabbing and thrusting. That was way too quick. Okay, let's try it again. Ooh, got your knee! Oh, good dodge, good dodge. What? My knife broke, are you kidding me? This thing sucks. It still does the trick. Part 2. The Skinning Knife this has seen better days. At least the rust gives it a serrated edge, perfect for skinning animals. Is this even a weapon? Whoa! I have the high ground! Oh, this thing is so tiny. I mean, it's average. I have to be precise and meticulous here. That kind of hurt my face. Huh? Dude! I got his weapon in two! This thing's sharp! Part 3, the Antique Greatsword. As you wield this gigantic blade, you can hear the previous owner's battle cry resonating through you. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This is a weapon. I feel like I could take on the world with this thing. Ah, a challenger. Ah, okay, it's a bit heavier than normal. Part 4, the Claymore. With its long blade and distinctive style of cross hilt, the heavy claymore was designed to be wielded with two hands. I like the look of this one already. Oh, hello there. Oh, this thing's really heavy though. It's got a lot of drag to it. <laughs> I cut his shield in two. Tournament of Voldemort. Part 5. The Great Sword. Too heavy to be wielded one handed, the Great Sword can be leveraged at the handle for an easier swing. Alright, looks like we got another Big Bertha sword. Let's test it out. Dude, are you kidding me? What am I supposed to do with this? Your sword broke too? Come on, dude. Eat it. Did that get him? It's definitely inside him. Oh, I can use it as a club now. Bonk. There we go. Part 6, the longsword. Characterized by a long grip and cruciform hilt, the longsword is a lethal and versatile weapon. Okay, these weapons are getting a bit lighter. It's nice. Oh, it's an archer. I'll cut your arrow out of the sky. I like this thing. Why are you shaking your head like that? Kind of scaring me, buddy. Part 7, the War Sword. A longer and heavier variant of the Long Sword, but shorter than a Great Sword. You know, this one looks pretty decent. We have our Challenger. Ah, oh, it's our first mage. Smite! That did a number on you. I am, I am sorry. Part 8, the Reverend Sword. Chipped and rusting, this sword is still an effective slashing and thrusting weapon. Okay, this one looks a bit pathetic, but we'll give it a go. Die! Let's try this slashing. Oh. Definitely cuts. Well, fuck. You okay, buddy? I'm just gonna put you out of your misery here, okay? He's dead and he, he didn't even find peace. Part 9, the Antique Sword. Used optimally in conjunction with the shield, the short length and thin tip of this weapon make it ideal for thrusting. Okay, looks like we got our basic antique sword here. <laughs> Do you have a wooden sword? I feel sorry for you. I wonder if I can throw it. I don't think it killed her, but... And... Goal! Part 10, the short sword. An ideal thrusting weapon, the pointed tip allows for effective stabbing, while the crossguard design offers some protection. Alright, this is just our basic short sword. Shouldn't be too hard to use. Hello there. Kind of aggressive, aren't you? 
Let me just climb up here and I have the high ground! Ah! Oh! Are you okay? No. Oh! Ha! Oh, good block. Part 11, the Riding Sword. This elegant weapon has a tapered point for effective thrusting without giving up the width needed for good cuts. Ooh, this looks nice. So I can thrust and slash a little bit too. Let's do this. Ow! No, you're not going anywhere. This person's looking kind of beefy, I won't lie. I am on fire, come on. <laughs> See ya. Give me one more. Your sword is bent, by the way. Part 12, the Bardiche. A descendant of the Danax, the cleaver style blade of the Bardiche makes it suitable for hacking and slashing. Now this is a chunky boy. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, excuse me. I'll be taking this back, please. This weapon makes me feel like an animal. Part 13, the Northern Axe. The relatively light axe head offers devastating cutting ability while keeping enemies at polearm length. Time to unleash my inner viking. Is this dude bush camping? <laughs> he is! Swing at me, buddy, come on. Oh. Part 14, the old lumber axe. This old and rusted tool is designed for felling trees, but makes for a dangerous hacking weapon nonetheless. I'm just an old farmer, chopping my wood. Mind your own business, partner. I said mind your own business! Oh no! Oh! Oh, you're a magician! Don't care. Buddy, you're not gonna hit me from all the way over there. Part 15, the axe. Benefiting from the strength of its wielder, the axe is an effective, brutal hacking and chopping weapon. Whoa, hey! I think I'm gonna steal your shield after this. What? That just bonked you. There we go, this feels better. I have a shield, it's not gonna do anything. See? You're cornered now. I sense danger. Uh, yeah, you should. I need my axe back. Thank you. I'm just gonna... Uh-oh! Oh, my axe broke. It's gonna be good for punching now. Oh! Part 16, the hatchet. This hatchet seems very worn, still effective at slashing and gashing, but is very antique. What? This is only like one inch. Oh! Oh my gosh, it's an orc. Hey, buddy. Oh, this guy looks scary! Oh no. Part 17, the War Axe. This deadly gasher can slice and dice your enemies like butter, along with looking super stylish. Oh, this one looks quite nice. What do you think, sir? Oh, you got a little bit of ugly on your face right there. Okay, it was a joke.
Part 18, the boar spear. The spear socket wings prevent this spear from penetrating the flesh too deeply, where the spear might break or get stuck. Finally, some range. Oh, I feel like I might be a bit overpowered with this. Oh, right in the ankle. Oh. Oh, I can slide it back and forth too. Good block. Stay back. I'm warning you. Oh, dude, I'm sorry about that. Everybody wants the smoke. Part 19, the javelin. Amazing for throwing, so long as you have the correct stance. This one's pretty simple, but I think it'll be good. I guess we'll see. Down to one weapon. Didn't even stand a chance. Ha! Oh no. Ha! Da! I should probably throw this thing. Oh! He took a javelin to the knee. Part 20 The Mallet. Great for hard hitting attacks and grounding spikes. This one should be pretty straightforward. Oh, it might be hard with all this armor. Not bad. Uh. Oh, he dodged it. Didn't dodge that one, though. Part 21, the Maul. With its weight and size, the Maul can crush through armor and bones alike. Uh, yeah, I like this. Here we go. Part 22, the flanged war mace. The flanged head makes this weapon especially effective towards battering armored targets and crushing foes. Okay, this thing looks powerful. No, my weapon! Good night, friend. Wait! What? You survived that? Part 23, the blacksmith hammer. Intended for use by a blacksmith to shape metal, the heavy metal could still be used to crush bone. We're gonna try our best with this thing. Hey, sir. Knock, knock. Can I throw it? I think I got her. 
And, uh, bunk? Oh my gosh! Okay, so I just have to put it in. It's working! Let's go, dude! Part 24, the trench mace. Crude but effective, the mace can be used to stun and batter opponents, knocking them out of the fight. Okay, I can work with this. Hello? Excuse me, miss. Crap. Why are you running away from me? Not this. Part 25, the flanged mace. The flanged head makes this weapon better suited for denting armor. Another bashy bashy weapon. Hey, you have the same weapon as me. That's cool. Okay, chill. Sweet. Oh, hello. Dude, chill. Do you think she's dead? Part 26, the rock. Nothing better than a primitive way of combat, rock. It's not a boulder, it's a rock. Where's our first enemy? Oh, it's a wizard. <laughs> I got you good, didn't I? Part 27, the dual blade staff. This unorthodox weapon can be wielded with one hand or two. Double the blades, double the damage. Ooh, this one should be fun. I feel like Oberyn. Oh. This one feels so cool. Part 28, the rapier. The slender blade and razor sharp tip make the rapier a deadly thrusting and stabbing weapon. Oh ho ho, I have to practice my fencing skills now. Ah, oh, on guard. Oh, oh oui, pauvre monsieur. Ha, ah. ha, ha. Facile. Oh! Come on, come on, come on, come on! There's two! Two kill streak, not bad, not bad. Should we go for three? Three! No, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh my gosh. Part 29, the wrist blade. A discreet weapon for those who value concealment. It also just looks cool. Ooh, these ones will be fun. I just punch them, except... They'll die. And that, my friends, covers all the weapons in the game. Which one was your favorite? Personally, I have to go with the dual blade staff. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.